Yeah, we're on uh, <laughs> Silverstone now. Uh, British Grand Prix. Love it. I fucking love it. This is your favorite, Danny? It's one of them. I, I oh. You know what? They This was another one that they massively upgraded about three years ago. They did a good job. Yeah, they did a good job. There's oh. a whole new pit complex. There's a whole new back straight. This looks great. There's a whole new uh, yeah. hairpin on it. If this was Mario Kart, I would drive I've, it. I've driven... <laughs> Yeah. I've driven on video games the old bridge circuit. See up at the top, the blue? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. That was the old bridge. So basically between turn 12 Abbey. and 17. Mm. Brooklyn's. The parts of this existed, but the layout is completely different. Oh, now. wow. And parts of it is new. Which I think the that arena part might be new. Yeah, that arena part is new. Like, a- a- anything that dips down here, that that's new stuff. Mm. Yeah. And and the pits complex is new. It used to be the pits were used to be out here before. Yeah. yeah. And now they're down there. Oh. Uh-huh. Um, but anyway, the, the massive changes. To no, the no, s- the, to the, the other way around. That's no. That's the new. That's the old pits was over. Th- oh yeah, you're right. Yeah. No, no, I'm, no. So, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Damn right. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, I do actually. I like where um, the new pits is actually. So I like, even though you still have both corners there, that's better as a final corner. Oh yeah. Yeah, the, tight the, the 17, Brooklyn's 18, left, 19, left field. Yeah, it tight, tightens everybody up at the end of the ra- yeah. uh, at the end of the lap. Yeah, Brooklyn's the left field. This good. This this section here, a lot of people like uh, this comes and comes uh, again in the the, the Chapel Beckett's Maggots complex. And the people do call it like that, the Beckett's <laughs> Maggots. Um, it, it's it, it's good sweeping s's, ha- yeah. very high speed. Like so, f- I- imagine this. Okay, so you're coming down here. This is picking up to pretty high speed and you gotta get this right you gotta get maggots oh, so is this is this part first oh is yeah, this is that's the case start. Okay. Yeah, that, that's the start so oh s- right one two three yeah so so you pass cops and then at cops you start building up speed what no 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 once you're on, on a full lap at at the first turn there mm-hmm. you're doing like fifth or sixth gear that's like you gotta be how brave. many how many you cams an hour <laughs> You went like over well over between two and three hundred, depending. Yeah. Where. Oh my god. And, and then you and then you approach Maggots Beckett's or Maggots Beckett's Chapel, and you have to get this right, and you have to get this right because this long straight is coming, and this has to be taken as uh, as fast as you can because okay. it's a long straight. Number seven is the fastest part. Yeah. Right where you hit seven there. Oh my god. So, the, yeah, the British Grand Prix, uh, very good track, a fantastic event. I love to go, but it's expensive. You As a fan, it takes a toll on you. That cor- mm-hmm. I think they tried. So there, w- there was a, the fans were a little upset because the owners of the track attempted to sell it last year, but they are not successful. Mm-hmm. But t- now they've sort of reiterated their commitment to the track. Okay. And uh, they they announced not for this year it's already too late. I think tickets are go on sale or going on sale really soon. I don't know. They they are they've already been. Yeah, so. they're already on sale. So for next year though, they want to lower the price by like fifty British pounds average a ticket because oh people God. complain like it's because it's, it's ridiculous it's, it's it's okay monaco it's should but just because of because of monaco monaco should be more expensive the most expensive track to go right because it's because monaco is ridiculous but no the this is the most expensive pretty much if you if you if you count in like staying there and you have to pretty yeah, much camp there because the, the nearest city is really, really well, it's, it's far away. Yeah. Um. You, c- you this could is like out in the boons, then. Yeah. This is in in, in yeah. it's, it's about a, uh, an hour and forty five from London. Okay. Uh. So I guess some people like do come from, but you don't want to be like wrestling London traffic and then going there anyway. And so when you when you're there, most fans that like just go to sit to sit on the general admission, you know, like if you're just going there because you're a racing fan, um, you may not have a lot of money. Like it's. You have to stay in these in these tents because so mm-hmm. most people like do do camping there, um, and and even camping, like just just for a plot of land, it's it's outrageous, oh for just for the whole week. That's it's crazy. Yeah, it, so th- there's a lot of things that are that a lot of fans complain about going there, but watching it on TV, uh, if you if if you've never seen it, it's it's a good track. It's and lots of action there last last year. That is when that tussle uh, between uh, Alonso and Vettel happened. Right. Yeah. That was that. Yeah, that was that was uh, so that that I'm looking forward to um, pretty much as much as I'm looking forward to the Canadian Grand Prix. I think a big part of the reason I think part of the reason the tickets were so high is because of the, the prestige or whatever that they're trying to sell. Sure, totally. But and the money they spent on upgrading this track. But the reason it's in the middle of nowhere is because it was uh, originally World War Two uh, Royal Air Force Base. Ah. Was it they originally held 
races there just on the uh, just on the, run, just on on the, the runways, runways and stuff like yeah. that. Wow, cool. Yeah. Way back in the 50s, though. Cool. Now it's obviously a this pr- this was the f- the first um uh, in 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 Silverstone um they did the very first Formula One race ever. Oh wow! Not the very first uh Grand Prix because Grand Prix had existed for, for like since before the war. Uh-huh. But when when it was called the the Formula One World Championship, the first race happened here, and it was attended by the Queen. And uh, so this was like oh in the fifties, right? And for I- it still holds the stat, the the it the uh, this stat that it's the um, first event, the first live television event attended by a monarch. Anyway, <laughs> right? oh it's damn, yeah, <laughs> so that's like pretty crazy. Y- you know what I mean? Because yeah. you know, TV was being developed and yeah, all that. Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> oh wow, that's <laughs> yeah. exciting. Yeah, a lot of history, a lot of history yeah. in this track. Um, that's that's what I love.